How's it going guys? So we're continuing our journey to episode 7 of Helsing Ultimate Abridged. Uh, currently on episode 3. I'm about to start that right now, but I hope you guys have been enjoying my last two live reactions to Helsing Ultimate Abridged. I love this series and Team 4 Star is just a great, great YouTube channel. And if you have not checked them out yet, you should check them out. I mean, I don't know who doesn't know them by now. So I'm really excited to get into this. The last two were really funny. Like, as I've stated in previous, I've seen 1 through 6, but I'm waking my way to uh, episode 7. I'm really looking forward to that. Have not seen it yet, which is surprising because I usually watch this stuff, like, right as soon as it comes out. But I'm making this a special occasion, making the journey. So without further ado, let's get into this episode. I'm really excited. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to start it in 3, 2, 1... Go. The following is a fan base parody. I got Helsing Luke Valentine. This property of Kota Hirano and Studio Madhouse. The fuck is this? You assholes brought me back from the dead to read this legal <laughs> bullshit? No, 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 no. Fuck that. I like that skit that they have for the opening. To, to read a fucking line, then it's gonna be my kind of fucking line. <clears throat> my throbbing vampire dick is a fan base parody. It's Shaft. Balls and scrotum are property of me, Jan Valentine. <laughs> Jan. Now, bitch, I happen to be giving it to at the time. Please support my dick by helping with its official release. Class you know act. To. Class act. <laughs> Vampire king. You lay upon the blood-soaked dirt of your ruined land. Castles plundered. Dominions in ruin. That crown so sounds like Chris Sabat. All to end the hellfire with which you sought to cover the world. A bloody conquest having consumed hundreds of thousands, countless I bet that is Chris Sabat. And over 20,000 impaled and prostrated by you and you alone to strike horror into the hearts of mortal men. What say you, monster, demon, devil conceived by the bleakest womb? What say you now? The aristocrats. <laughs> yeah, I do get that joke. <laughs> oh God. It's orientation day. Listen close. Oh yeah, we get the French guys. As personal bodyguards, the Helsing organization. As you've heard, we deal with special interest targets. Love the glare. Terrorists, cultists, and individuals who believe themselves to be of <laughs> a mystical persuasion. <laughs> well. Is there anything else we should be informed about the facility? Everything you need to know has already been covered in the briefing. Hey kids, wanna see a dead body? <laughs> oh, Alucard. He just shows up out of the wall like, yeah guys, this is what you're dealing with. <laughs> you guys are screwed. You're still screaming. Screaming! <laughs> so, what's up with the pride meeting? They're a mercenary group contracted to replace all the soldiers we lost in the Valentine Wait, Brothers. Wait, are these guys French? We were forced to post mortality rates. They're the only ones who applied. We are really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. <laughs> Shots fired. So Tegra, I apologize. I tried to stop him. But when I pleaded with him, he merely responded with, and mind my French, no offense. Son taken. Fuck the police. He then proceeded to tilt every painting he passed on the way here. <laughs> oh god, walking through that hallway is going to give me such a headache now. This OCD is real. A very curious letter arrived to you in the mail. Enrico Maxwell. Gotta that stay hydrated. Really slimy, arrogant Italian piece of sh Maxwell, oh it's been far too long. I agree. That I hat. That little girl I used to know. Look at all those lines on your face. And look at all the brown on your nose. How is the Pope doing? Better than your failing church. <laughs> well, not all of us can explore the legal. But you don't waste time making money off Rupert Murdoch. Honestly, if you're going to have a dick fighting competition with a woman, so cool. you must have started off with the world's cruelest handicap. Which of your benefits <laughs> the nine-year-old boy you have chained up in your private Vatican jet? Which was paid for how? Oh, right. Generous donations from your followers to spread the word of God. All over his back. <laughs> Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with Here we go. Got me a present. Kiss the sun lest he be angry, and you perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, 
She's defusing the situation. I'm uncultured. My bone is gone. Aye, kind of a mood killer. Wanna try this again some other time? Of course, kill you later, you monstrous heathen. You too, you Catholic sociopath. Tautology. <laughs> you want some coffee? I'd love some. So, the letter you sent never specified the purpose of this meeting. Consider this a business transaction. I have two pieces of information that I wish to trade with you. And what would those be? The true identity of Millennium. Who? The organization who assailed your compound. Oh yeah, there hmm. was some debate over that. And the whereabouts of It was the Nazis. And what could you possibly want in exchange? Oh, nothing major. Just two simple apologies from you and your subordinate known as the Crimson Fucker. Also known as Alucard. Alucard. So you want an apology from me? I figured, but didn't want to assume. And by chance, what would I have to apologize to the Iscariot organization for? Well, originally I'd ask you to apologize for being a scum-sucking, blaspheming, ignorant Protestant pig sow. <laughs> but in this case, the sins of your pet vampire are of greater concern. What did he do this time? Over the last couple of years, he has sent no less than 200 death threats to the Pope by carrier pigeons. Only 200. <laughs> they just fly right into the Vatican. The latest one read as such. <clears throat> Dear chief replacement. Chief replacement. I want to send you this friendly little letter to inform you of your imminent demise. If you're curious about the frequency of which I've sent these letters, it is merely to instill as much fear as I can, as if basting a turkey, which I will then proceed to have sex with. <laughs> That's right, I'm going to fuck the fear turkey. Follow me on Twitter at the Crimson Fucker. Sincerely. But he cares. He writes it, knowing that he writes to the Pope, he cares enough to write. If you put that sort of energy into his job. So, that apology? I'm sorry. So that's where they are. Interesting. But do you think Alucard will go? Not as long as it's an order. I think I have an idea. Did you know you have vacation days? I have vacation days? You mean I can leave anytime <laughs> I want and not get yelled at over the phone? Because seriously, it's always over the phone. Mostly because I don't like to argue with her in person. I get a boner. It's super awkward. Quite. <laughs> well, that settles it. I'm going traveling. Yes, you can go anywhere you wish. Except for Brazil. Sir Integra was quite insistent that you never visit Brazil. Guess where we're going. <laughs> Taking the police girl and the Frenchman. Look how dapper he looks. So, where is the police girl? Oh, you know, she's downstairs. Isn't that the cargo hold? I have a fear of flying coffins in tight places! It's a bad combination right there, Saris. Jesus wants a hug! <laughs> There we are, a regular two-bedroom. Hilarious. No, I want the penthouse. I'm sorry, sir. Mr. Chevy Chase currently has that room reserved. Chevy Chase. You want to give me the penthouse? I want to give you the penthouse. And you want to kick out Chevy Chase because he's an asshole. And I want to kick out Chevy Chase because he's an asshole. See this, Frenchie? I can make him say whatever I want. White Chicks was amazing. <laughs> White Chicks was amazing. <laughs> he believes it too. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. no. Sticky sock. The Crimson Fucker has checked in. I repeat. Another the calling on that. Has checked in. <laughs> also, I'm choosing the goddamn nicknames next time. So, if this doesn't sound weird, would you maybe like to get a drink later? Hit up a club? You're not my friend. That ponytail. Already gone. Make it past two weeks. I might learn your name. Until then, you'll spare blood. Jeez, fine. Also, tell that guy to stop spying on me. It's creepy. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> now that I'm all by myself, <laughs> it's like he's not obvious. I can just kick back and re. Shots fired from the penthouse suite on the top floor. The initial SWAT team has not reported back, leading officials to fear for the worst. The terrorist duo inside is comprised of a young British woman and some Ozzy Osbourne looking motherfucker. Ozzy <laughs> Osbourne. Phone. I want him on the phone right now. Hold on a minute. I gotta take this. It's a ringtone. <laughs> what did you do? All right. But you can't be mad at me. What did you do? Okay, first, 
I was minding my own business. Bullshit! I was! And exactly what happened whilst you were minding your own business? So I was just chillaxing in my room like a baller, and then all of a sudden these schmucks kicked in my door. Oh, man. Get on your knees! And I responded with, I'm not your mother last night! <laughs> and they took exception to that. Oh, Alucard. So violent, I love oh, it. You know how that song and dance goes. And I killed all but one of them. What happened to the last one? Took the easy way out. out like a bitch. <laughs> I can cancel my room service. So we've sent like ten guys up there, and we haven't heard back. I think everything is all right. Not They're dead. Man, shit. Don't worry about it. Of course, everything's fine. Well, no matter what, we're still gonna get our immortality, right? Buddy, my friend, do I look like the kind of guy who would go back on an agreement? No, my not friend, at all. You may want to send more men. Well, that sounds reasonable. <laughs> wow. You've been like really quiet for like five minutes. I know why you're angry. It's because I went to Brazil, isn't it? Alucard, put the police girl on the phone. Really? You want to talk to me? Okay, fine, whatever. Hello? Whatever you do, do not let Alucard leave that room under any circumstance. Actually, he just left. He said he was going for a walk. No! Going for a walk. Hey guys, how's your health plan? How's your health plan? It's gotta be if you're dealing with Alucard. They never stood a chance. What are we looking at in terms of collateral? Well, the Alucard amount. I wonder what that is as a number. Really decorating the place. I heard you knew how to make an entrance. If I had known you were going to do all this, I'd have hung some Union Jacks for you. Hold on. Did you put all this on for me? Who are you? I am Tobla Kane Alhambra, or the Dandy Man. The Dandy I Man, man can. I made a lie to the local police that in return for your capture, I would give them immortality. Damn. And they fucking bought that. Like discount pishy. You cheeky dick waffle. So then, <laughs> what's the deal? <laughs> Your choice of words. I was oh man, that's that funny. Game, vampiro. What, we talking 52 pickup? No. More like 52. Oh, the puns. Oh my god, why are they doing this outside? <laughs> well, at least he's just dodging him. Is he? Oh, come on, that was on purpose. So he can make card clones. Shadow clone jutsu. <laughs> you are too very much rap card. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, Dandy Dick. You missed. <laughs> nah, Hanna Barbera. <laughs> do you think the Humber can take him? Calm down, man. It's fine. I'm just focused on what I'm gonna do with my mortality. Joke's on you. I'm getting double immortality. Huh? Well, How does that work? Two, one, that, that. No, 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 no. That. Too easy. <laughs> See what he thinks about having that drink with me. <sighs> Could use a drink right now. Not used to seeing this much of my own blood anymore. Guys got magic cards and magic hands. Tell me, Alucard, are you oh, a man? I believe that's your shtick. I'd like to make a little bear with you, Vagabundo. I'll end your life with one hand. I'll take that bet. Now, hit me with your best shot! Oh, shame for you. You activated my Alucard. That's such a good line. I, that, like, that's better than 52 cut up. Bitches love cannons. There we go. <laughs> 
I'm getting real tired of this shit. You and me both. Mm. Now show me your hand. Daddy man! Oh. <laughs> that would suck. Hey, Dandy Man. You lost. And now I have to read your mind. By drinking all of your blood. <laughs> Sounds reasonable. The fuck is this? The fuck is that? <laughs> He's tripping balls. <laughs> oh. The Nazis! <laughs> <laughs> he now knows. Master? Hold on, I need to tweet about this. The funny thing is, it is a Twitter account. <laughs> That's the funny thing. <laughs> Sir Integra, is something the matter? It's the fucking Nazis! <laughs> I am so sorry, Major, for the failure of the dandy man. I'll give it a rest, Herr Doctor. He was a Brazilian dog who died feeding a much bigger beast a valuable piece of information. But, Major, now that they know of our plans... Ah, Herr Doctor, but that is the plan. Now that they know our plan, they will plan around our plan. And so we shall in turn plan around the plan that they are planning around our plan! Your planning. audience knows no bounds. And regardless, we have one advantage that they solely lack. Zeppelins! <laughs> Can't go wrong with Zeppelins. Can't think of one disaster that has ever happened within a Zeppelin. <laughs> oh man, too funny. That's the end, right? Yep, that's the end. Very nice. Man, I love Ultimate Bridge. I mean, I don't want to hope, like, I don't think Lanny's ever going to watch this. But, uh, <laughs> hope he doesn't take this the wrong way if he ends up d watching this, but he plays a good Nazi. <laughs> so, other I just want to see, like, does it have the voices in here? Alright, let me see. No, I don't think it does. So, I thought that was Chris Savitt doing the voice in the beginning, but I don't, I don't think that was. Yep, no, 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 he's not in there, so I was wrong. But uh, he, he did a very good impression of Chris Savitt. It was basically like Vegeta going up against Alucard, the way I thought it was. But So, man, this sh this just gets funnier and funnier. I mean, they definitely get better over the years, and you can tell that uh, Team Four Star definitely honed their craft as time went on, which is understandable, because when you first start out, you're not that good. But over time, you end up to develop, and everything gets better. But I love... Alucard just, no matter whatever's in his way, he just kills him down. And the comedy in this just, I think, gets better and better. So I hope you guys enjoyed my live reaction to this. Uh, you can expect this every Sunday for right now, uh, unless you guys just demand I do do it faster. But as of right now, it's going to be doing every Sunday. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. And if you haven't caught the previous reactions, I'm going to have a playlist on my channel of all the reactions. And each time a new episode that I put out comes up, it's going to be put into that pay play that playlist. Wow, I can't even speak right now. So definitely check out my channel there, and I hope that you guys are enjoying my content. So um, until my next video, I'll talk with you guys all later. All right, see you guys.